In this video, we shall be finding a minimal sufficient statistics from the rare distribution given. For more on this topic, you need to subscribe to this channel. Solution For a statistics to be sufficient, it must meet this criteria. The likelihood function of, say, V, X1, X2, Xn will be equal to x1, x2 to xn multiplied by g into t x1, x2 to xn, say v. So for a statistics to be sufficient, it must satisfy this criteria. This part is independent of the parameters from the distribution. Why this is kind of combined from the distribution, including the parameters given. So the first thing to do is to look for the likelihood function of this, f of x, which is equal to the product sum, i running from 1 to n, x all over v, exponential, negative x squared all over 2v which we can expand this further to give the likelihood function of this we can get it in this form to be equal to first we say 1 all over v 1 x 1 exponential x squared 1 all over 2v multiplied by 1 all over v the second one x 2 exponential negative x2 squared 2v multiplied by that by it continues like that to give us 1 all over v raised to the power of n n times x raised to the power x n sorry then exponential negative x i raised to the power of 2 all over 2 v so if we put them together we we'll see that our likelihood function will give us 1 all over v raised to the power of n summation of x i as i running from 1 to n and exponential summation of x i squared all over 2 v from the real distribution given this is what we we'll get so if we want to compare this with our sufficient statistics that is all we need to do it then means that our h x1, x2, xn is equal to summation of xi. Also, we can say t to be summation of xi squared. It then means that our g, t, x1, x2 to xn including the parameters is equal to 1 all over v raised to the power of n exponential negative this is t all over 2v because we have our t to be summation of x i squared so it then means that if we compare this with the sufficient statistics, it means this statistic is sufficient for the real distribution given. So we can write it as we can write our sufficient statistics to be the likelihood of v x1 x2 to xn to be equal to 
we have this first summation of xi as i running from 1 to n multiplied by 1 all over v raised to the power of n exponential negative p all over 2v. So this is how we can write it. So it then means that t, which is equal to summation of xi squared is a sufficient statistics for the real for the real distribution the real distribution given so it means that the distribution that means t which is our statistic is a sufficient statistics for the real distribution given this is the distribution that is given so since it satisfies this condition it means it's a sufficient statistics for more on this topic you need to subscribe to this channel